Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use some of Elegant Themes or Divi's built-in icons to customize your search bar. Something like we've used them here in this menu. These icons come built in with the theme and you may as well use them. And sometimes it's it's nicer to have perhaps a magnifying glass icon rather than the, the generic search text that they've got. So let's create a new page. I'm going to use the Divi Builder here. Divi is an absolutely awesome theme. If you're doing anything at all with WordPress, I do suggest you take a look at it. Its features just keep growing and it just keeps getting better and better. So like I say, if you're doing anything with WordPress, you need to check it out. Uh, you can check it out from my affiliate link below this video if you want to give it a test try. Okay, let's just add a module here. I'll do a, a sort of a third and two thirds. And I'll add a sidebar so we've got a search or search box. There we go, and we've got a little search box up the top of there. And what we're going to do is replace that text with an elegant themes icon. And we have to dig in a little bit to actually do that. First thing we want to do is find the icon that we want to use. So let's just close that. And I'm going to add a blurb widget to this side. We're not going to use it. I'm just going to use it to actually find the icon that I want. Image and icon, use icon. I'm going to switch that on. And now we've got a nice list of icons here. I can make that a little bit bigger so you might be able to see it easier. And let's select one that we want to use. Of course, you can use any of these. Like I say, we used a bunch up in the menu here. I'm looking for a sort of magnifying glass icon. That one right there is the one that I think I'll have. So I'll just put the checkbox there. There it is right there. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I'm going to exit the visual builder. Because I just want to do a search to find out what that is actually the code for that actually is. So I'm going to save. So I'll save it as a draft. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder. And I'm going to simply I'm using Google Chrome here. It's great. It's got the Chrome inspector built in. I'm just going to right click and inspect. And here we are. Here's our little icon. And it's using the little code of U right there. So that's the important bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, edit this as HTML. We don't need all of this. I'll show you in a minute. Just going to copy this into a little. Just going to bring up a notepad and copy that into a notepad. And the really the only bit that I want is that ETP. ETPB icon and then that U is going to be very important. So next thing we want to do, we're going to use our inspector again. We want to find the code for this box here because we're going to create our own. It's going to function exactly the same as this, but we're going to have our own icon here. We're going to style it the way we want it. So we'll inspect that again. Here it is. And I want to take. Here's the actual it's a form that's that's doing the search there. I'm going to take the whole div, the opening div to the closing div. So again, I'm going to right click on that, edit as HTML. I'm going to select all of that code. I'm going to paste it into my little notepad that we've got here. 
Now it looks like a bunch of junk right there, but uh, it's just simple HTML. When we paste it into our code widget, it'll sort itself out. Okay. So we've got everything we need right there. So now what we need to do, this is a sidebar, so we need to go to our widgets. I happen to have open over here. Now I'm going to get rid of that search bar because we're going to put in our own delete. And I'm looking for my custom HTML widget. There it is. I'm going to paste in that HTML code that I just copied. It's still in my clipboard, but if it hadn't been, you could have copied it from your notepad here. There we go. Do a quick save. Um, I'm not going to give it a title. We know it's a search. Now, the important bits that we need from over here Here's what we copied from our Elegant Themes icon. The bit that we want is the class from the beginning of the C just to the end of the icon there. But what we want to remember to do, we've got an opening inverted comma there. We want to make sure we close it out with a closing one after there. Theirs is over here. But we really don't need any of that, so let's just copy that. And we'll put it just before that value over here. Input type submit, ID, search submit, value. And just before there, I'm going to paste that in. And again, it's flown up a flag because we haven't got that closing inverted comma there. So there we are. Put that in there and Put a space, that's it, all the flags gone. So all I did was pasted it in there, put that closing inverted comma there, and added a space. Now we can save that. Well, let's go back to our page. And you shouldn't notice any different actually, because although we deleted that widget, I've just created a new one that should look exactly the same as that. Okay, <laughs> what I didn't do, I'll show you, is we've got all those symbols in there, and those correspond to these, the letters in search right there in the value. All I need to do, if we look at our bit of code we copied before, that's the value, basically. That's, that's the code for that little icon, which is a capital U. So... <laughs> If I replace this with a capital U and save that. Now, when we go back to our page, bingo, we've got our little search icon. So that's how easy it is. Um, and it does look a little more interesting than just having a search in there. But of course, we can go further if we inspect this we can actually customize it exactly how we want it. Uh, there's the input search submit. I'll just drag this up a bit. And let's say we want a clear background. So I'll say background. Say transparent. Of course, it can be any color you want then semicolon. And remember, when you're editing with the Google Inspector here, it's non-destructive. So anything you do over here will, will affect it up here. But when you hit that refresh button, it'll go revert to back how it was. And as you can see, it's now got a transparent background. And let's say, let's make the actual icon itself perhaps colored. Let's make it blue. No particular reason. Okay, now I don't know if you can see that that's blue, but it is blue. And if I make the font size, oh, here's the font size down here. If we make it a bit bigger, 
Now I'm going to left click on it until that box opens. I'm just going to roll my mouse wheel and I can roll it up and down to increment up and down. As you see, as I'm rolling up, it's getting bigger. As I roll down, it's getting smaller. So let's make it a little bit bigger, say something like that. We'll have to adjust the padding to get it central. So say 21 picks. Let's make it bold. Let's say font, font weight. Bold. There we are. You can see it a bit better there. Now it's kind of dropped down. It's not exactly where we want it. So let's adjust the padding. I'm just going to uncheck that and put in my own padding. There we go. In fact, just unchecking that did it quite well. So we want to have a padding value in there. So let's say padding colon, say five pixels top and bottom and five pixels left and right. Yeah, that works quite well, I believe. So there you have it. It's as easy as that. And to make that permanent, we need to copy this over. I'll do that in a minute. Let's just sort of interest it up a little bit more. Let's reverse that. Let's make the background blue and the icon white. Ah, you see, that's made the box background blue. So we'd have to make our input text white. So let's forget that. We may be able to do the box on its own. And of course, you can do the border and everything else. Let's just check down here. Because if I uncheck that, it'll go back to that gray color. Let's see what's governing that gray color. I'm just scrolling down here. Should have mentioned earlier. If you're using the Chrome Inspector, I'm on the Styles tab here and I'm on the Elements tab over here. So I've got HTML over here and I've got CSS over here. Yeah, well, I don't see anything right there that's governing. So we may have to select on the icon. It may be the icon back, background color itself. So like I say, I don't see anything else there that we'd be doing it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy what we've got here from the opening dot all the way down to the closing curly bracket there. I'm just going to put it in my search box in case I want to use it in a minute. It'll save me redoing it if I refresh the browser. So let's perhaps click on this here and inspect it on its own. Yeah, it's just the input type submit there. Well, that looks like the same thing to me. There we are. It's right here. Background color DDDD. Let's change that to blue. There we are. That did what I wanted it to do before. Let's just We don't need hardly any of this, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to control C from the just before the dot to the closing curly brackets. I'm going to put it below that last one. Now we only need to keep the bit we changed, which is the background color. And of course, you can put in any color that you decide you want, or a gradient, or however you want. So everything else I'm going to I've deleted there. So I've just kept the bit that we changed. And it will be the same with this one. So we want to go back. And there it is right there. We want to go back and change our icon color from blue to something that we can see, which I'll put white in there, which is FFF. Well, actually, it's FFF, FFF, but with CSS3, you just need to put two things in there. So 
let's just grab all this again. I'll overwrite what I've got on my notepad and we'll get rid of anything we didn't change. Padding, we changed. Background transparent, that's gone. Height, we didn't change. Margin, we didn't change. Padding, that particular padding, we didn't change. Because we put extra padding in here, we may need to use the important class, but I don't know just yet. Uh, border we didn't change. So let's delete what we've got there. Okay, border we didn't change. Color we did change. We turned it to white. Font size, yes, we did change that. Bold, we changed that. And line height, we did not change that. So that's the only ones we need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this. Control C. Because when I refresh this, it'll go back to how it was. There we go. It's gone back to that little icon with a, the background. And what we need to do is go back to our dashboard, down to our Divi theme options. Right down at the bottom. We're on the general tab, right down at the bottom. You can put this into the page, but since we might use that search icon elsewhere, let's put it in the whole theme options CSS. OK, and I'm going to drop down. I'll give it a title forward slash star star forward slash and back up and in between. Give it a title that makes it easier to find at a later date if we want to change something. OK, and now I'm just going to simply paste in the code that I copied from my little notepad there. Boom, there we are. And that's just that code that we copied from over here. Now let's save our changes, go back to the site and see if everything's worked. Like I say, we may have to tweak it a little bit if it's not worked correctly, but hopefully it should work. There we go. So we've now got our own little icon for our search there. We've changed the background. We've made it bigger and bolder and we've got it how we actually want it. So that is how to change the search icon in the Divi WordPress theme. You can also do that with any other theme too, using a bit of CSS, but we're using Divi here um, purely because it's absolutely awesome. So I hope you've found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.